I would now request our director, sir, Shri G. Srinivasan, to kindly present the opening address. But before that, let me give you a brief introduction of sir. Sir assumed charge as director of National Insurance Academy, Pune, in December 2018. Prior to joining NIA, sir had a distinguished career spanning over 38 years in general insurance industry in India and abroad, having the coveted and prestigious distinction of being the longest-serving CMD amongst all the public sector undertakings. Before joining NIA, Sir led India's largest general insurer, the New India Insurance Company Limited, and the famous United India Insurance Company Limited as CMD. As managing director, Sir has also led the New India Insurance Company, Company Limited's Trinidad and Tobago subsidiary at Port of Spain. With this brief introduction, I would now request Sir to kindly present the opening address. Good morning to every one of you here. Chief Guest of the Function, Dr. Vijay Sadbir Singh, Member Maharera. Guest of Honor, Mr. Chokalingam, Settlement Commissioner, Government of Maharashtra. My friends from the real estate sector, bankers and other financial institutions, members of the insurance fraternity, media, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to extend a very hearty welcome to every one of you here for this seminar on title insurance. Would like to offer my special welcome to Dr. Vijay Sadbir Singh, member Maharera, for agreeing to be the chief guest, also giving us uh, the vision on the real estate sector and also the title insurance. I also extend a very uh, warm welcome to Mr. Chokalingam, Settlement Commissioner, who has been a kind of a pioneer and who has uh, helped us a lot uh, in making this journey on title insurance. National Insurance Academy is uh, very happy to present this seminar in association with Eshada, Land Titling Center, Government of Maharashtra. This is a journey uh, NIA started last year with a seminar in Pune. At that point of time, you know, there were no uh, products on title insurance in the Indian market. Today, you know, we have seen uh, quite a few insurance companies having products on title insurance, uh, offering them to the market. A few policies have already been sold, but it's our uh, very early days as you know, as it's a fact that the policy has not really made huge inroads into the Indian market. This seminar presents a great opportunity for all these stakeholders because everyone is here. The uh, government officials are here, RERA member is here, insurers are here, reinsurers are here, insurance intermediaries, brokers are here, and uh, the ultimate beneficiaries, real estate uh, developers, Everyone is here. I think it's a great opportunity for us to find out, you know, what is the utility of this product and how do we really make this take off. Friends, real estate sector is a, a very important segment of the Indian economy. The sector is expected to contribute 13% of the GDP by 2025. It is also expected the sector will reach US dollars 1 trillion by 2030. Rapid urbanization growing prosperity levels and economic growth. I think these are reasons contributing to growth of the real estate sector in our country. And government has also taken quite a uh, few initiatives like the 100 Smart Cities uh, program, also the program of the government Housing for All by 2022. I think these are all initiatives which will add a huge momentum to this sector. It's true that the real estate industry had seen muted growth in the last few years for various reasons, but it's expected that the momentum will pick up quickly and very shortly. The latest GST Council decision to reduce GST rates is a very welcome and timely decision, I think which will be in the interest of all the stakeholders. This is also an indication about the importance government gives to the real estate sector as part of the Indian economy. The Real Estate Regulation and Development Act, which was enacted in 2016, has provided for the organized development of the real estate sector. 
the act seeks to regulate and promote the sector, protect the home buyers, and also provide for a speedy resolu uh, dispute resolution whenever there are disputes. It's also expected to uh, bring in capital infusion from the organized financial institutions in a very big way. One of the important requirements of the uh, act was to make title insurance uh, compulsory, mandatory. Of course, it required notification from each of the state governments. Section 16 of the act requires the promoter to obtain insurance in respect of title of land and buildings, and that shall be transferred to the benefit of the buyer at the time of entering into an agreement for sale. The policy provides coverage for losses due to defect in title to due to various reasons. It may be due to title being vested with someone else. It may be defect in title due to fraud or forgery or other reasons. It may also be lack of legal right of access to and from the land and buildings. The legal costs incurred in defending these matters which are covered in the policy will also be covered by the policy and the insurers will take care of that. In the Indian market the product is relatively new one and you know it is expected to be issued initially for seven years and then you know people can always extend it before the expiry of this period, but the insurers will be willing to even issue for a longer period if there is a, a requirement for it. I think the policy is a great boon to the buyers of the property, I think which is, which is the purpose for which this policy is being introduced and uh, RERA wants to make it mandatory. It's also a great boon to people who finance, like the housing finance companies, banks and other lenders. It will also encourage equity funds and other foreign investors to bring in more money into the sector, I think which is in the interest of the real estate sector itself. I think there are some reasons why this product is not picking up uh, as fast as all of us would have expected. There are some reasons. I think there is one perception that the policy is very expensive. and. Uh, Cost cannot be recovered from buyers, especially in case of projects which are already uh, tied up, which are already in various stages of development. Even in case of new projects, there is a fear that, you know, because of uh, competition, because of the way the sector is, it may not be easy to recover from the buyers. It may not be easy to build into the cost of the apartment. This is a new policy for the Indian market, uh, but it's quite popular in many parts of the world. The premium rates would naturally come down over a period of time as the insurers build experience. The premium is also small if one considers the protection it offers, uh, which every property buyer wants. Some of the initiatives the government has taken like digitization, uh, I think is something uh, the insurers and reinsurers should understand in depth because Indian market has evolved and it has uh, developed substantially over the years, that will also help in probably uh, reducing the rates. Uh, so the insurers and reinsurers will have to uh, probably engage with the real estate sector to find ways of uh, reducing the premium. And also one more issue is the due diligence which is being done by the insurers, uh, the cost is quite high. So that is also a factor which needs to be looked at so that you know we are able to bring in some economy in the cost of insurance. So we were just discussing in the morning, so uh, we were wondering is it a kind of chicken and egg situation. The cost is high, so people don't want to take. Because people don't take, the critical mass is not there, so the premium rates tend to be high. So somewhere we have to break this. There is also lack of awareness among the developers about this policy, so we need to increase publicity of the policy. There's a need for closer engagement with the insurance industry and the real estate industry to bring more clarity uh, about the policy and also iron out some of these issues. We would also expect uh, a request, RERA, to nudge the promoters to go in for this cover, as it's a very important provision of the Act. I think one of the important provisions from buyer perspective is title insurance. The fact is this policy is a great boon to the home buyers. You know, uh, in India, buying home is, is aspirational. People put in their lifetime savings in buying property. And if the title is not assured, you know, I think his entire life savings is at stake. 
So it's a great boon for the home buyers and we should ensure that this much needed protection is given to them. This will also increase lending by the institutions. I think the uh, financial uh, institutions which lend on homes will be very liberal, maybe even could help in bringing down the cost of uh, the buyer has to pay for taking loans. If this policy is uh, made almost compulsory or mandatory, or it becomes a regular feature in every uh, transaction. I'm sure that all these points would get discussed and addressed in today's seminar. We at NAA would be very, very happy uh, to see that this policy takes off and the objective of uh, a complete cover to the home buyers is achieved. Once again, I welcome all of you to this seminar. Thank you very much. All the best.